And Quinn's won it again. White. It is a fearsome combination, really, through the centre. The pace of White allied to the aerial strength of Niall Quinn. Brennan. Oh, that's beautifully delivered by Quinn for Poynton. Quinn's header, and it's straight at Taylor. Excellent approach play by Manchester City, and really Peter Reid can be proud of the way the players are responding to his style of management, the style of play that he wants. On by Quinn, who drives for goal! Road, they really have formed uh, a great attachment to Niall Quinn. He's reveling in the extra opportunity. Poke forward by Brennan. Off goes Quinn, and uh, Mark Wright gets the better of him. Pickering. And Manchester City was stopping for offside, but I think Saunders came from a legitimate position, and so did the linesman. Down he goes. It's a certain penalty. Poynton remonstrates with the linesman. But really, it was Manchester City's shortcomings there. They were pushing up towards the halfway line, and Saunders timed his run to Pickering's pass. And all Tony Curtin could do was to bring the Welsh international down, and now... Coton is being called over by the referee. Now, how serious will this be, given the change in the law this season? He's off! Tony Coton sent off for what has been construed as serious foul play here. And the penalty itself, regarded by the referee, as not sufficient punishment. It's not the first time in his career that Coton's had a red card, but it's the first time, I'm sure, under the change in the law. And he threw his gloves there at the referee, and that might lead to further problems. He's reluctant to go, the jersey's got to come off, but who will put it on for Manchester City? Alan Harper has it in his hands at the moment, and it's Quinn, the player who's already given Manchester City the lead in this game, and now he's got to try and protect that lead. And surely Saunders himself will take the kick. Well, I don't think we'll have heard the last of this because Tony Curtin went in a furious temper. So this, to give Derby what they so desperately need, an equaliser from the penalty spot. Saunders takes it and Quinn has saved it! It wasn't a bad penalty. It was a tremendous save from a very agile man who plays all sorts of other sports and can use his hands as well as his head. Back from Heath. Here's Adrian Heath again. Paul Williams losing out to Poynton. Harper. And Manchester City keeping the ball and keeping Derby away from the standing goalkeeper, although he doesn't seem to need too much help. Well, White looked as though he might have been offside. As it was, Hill went on.
Harper. Ward. Hills cross. Just over the top. Mark Brennan's header. Control play from Manchester City again. Well, in a way, this seems to uh, sum up the agony of Derby County's season. The fact that they've been unable to beat a replacement goalkeeper here. But now there might be an opportunity to get the right sort of ball in for Saunders and Quinn is there again. And every time he touches the ball, he gets a standing ovation. Saunders penalised really for just running into Quinn. Did well to knock him over. Paul Williams. And again, Manchester City came up with the answer. It was half of that time. Remember, if Derby don't win here, they are relegated. They're a goal down, and although they're playing 11 against 10, they can't improve that position. And they might be in further trouble here. This is David White. Forced back to Ward. Paul Williams gets a foot in. White again. Pointed. And right to the rescue behind Martin Taylor. And still Manchester City, even though they're a man short, they continue to make the chances. Michael White, Harford. And Peter Reid, very anxious to get himself involved in everything since he's brought himself on. It's 2-0. Pickering's header. Back from cross. Nickel White. Redmond having one or two problems with the spin on the ball. It's over Paul Williams. And Niall Quinn still has a clean sheet. Geraint Williams. It's something of a humiliation for Derby County, this. But they still keep the ball, and they still keep their heads up. Although the formality of relegation is soon to be completed. Cross. Harford. It's a goal. Quinn could do nothing about it this time. But surely it's too late for Arthur Cox and Roy McFarland. Manchester City were hoping perhaps to get an offside decision here. They let Harford run on in. But the flag stayed down 2-1. Time. Manchester City have beaten Derby County by two goals to one on a very eventful afternoon. And Derby County go down to the second division. Manchester City lost their goalkeeper but found a superb stand-in in Niall Quinn. Mick Harford 
did get a goal for Derby in the closing moments. But this traumatic season for Derby has really reached a conclusion that's been on the cards for a long time now. The supporters show their character as the players go to them. But they'll be watching second division football at the baseball ground next season. And Arthur Cox's players make their way to the dressing room, wondering what went wrong. So, relegation now certain. After four seasons in Division One, the Rams drop back into the second. And with the financial stability of the club in doubt, star players Mark Wright and Dean Saunders will be allowed to leave the club at the season's end, if the price is right.